Hello everyone, Richard here, back for another review for the Diecast F1 review. And today I shall be looking at the Stuart SF2 from the 1998 Formula 1 season, made by Mattel Hot Wheels Racing. And I know a lot of people moan that the Mattel Hot Wheels uh, cars are inferior to that of Mini Champs and Spark and uh, pretty much every other manufacturer, and in some terms I do agree with them. But seeing as Mattel were the only company to make the uh, Stuart from 98 and 99, I absolutely love this model. It's uh, simple. Very well made, although well, strength wise it's pretty well made. The tyres are a bit shit, but I'll get under that in a minute. And the box is a typical mini uh, Hot Wheels one at the time, it is very flimsy and not, not very well held together. But the box art is very nice, you've got the Stuart logo on the side there, and on the side, and a big picture of the car on the back, driven by Verstappen there, with a, a few stats there. So, Rubens Barrett Cattle on the side, and then again. <coughs> Ribbons Barrack Cutter on the top, if I just move the camera, SF2, driver Rubens Barrack yep that's him, right, put the camera down, hopefully you don't break it, right there we go, now move the box down, and there's relatively, well there's very, a uh, short supply of these models are there, I mean there's limited to nearly 10,000, so uh, go pick one up if you want, they're pretty cheap, although if you do look on eBay at the moment there's probably a few, sorry, noise of this. There's probably a few buy it nails on eBay for about a hundred pounds. We can basically go say piss off to that. I paid about 20 for this one and I don't regret it. Now just move on to the inside of the box. This is a typical early Hot Wheels model. We just move it out the box and we have a insert internal cable base. Just drop the box on the floor there. Have an internal cable base there, which is very strong, and also a piece of road and curb for the base of the plastic base of the model. Very nicely detailed. It also has uh, pegs underneath which hold the car into place so it won't roll about. And we also got the Stuart logo up in the top there, and a little Hot Wheels logo down there. You also got the Stuart Stuart Ford SF2 down in the corner there, with the Hot Wheels logo as well, which sort of <laughs> ruins the the logo. But never mind. You also got the printed scene from the. Uh, Heref Grand Prix of 97 in there for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, never mind. Anything else on the box? No, nothing else, just uh, you know, to unscrew it, you've got to pull the base out of the backing cardboard, but I have to do a jump cut and come back while I uh, unscrew it from the base, so back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've uh, unscrewed the car from the base, and now we have a rolling model. Very nicely rolling it is too. Bit of information about the car from its uh, real life counterpart. The car was a basic, well, I'd say basic, but a slight improvement over the previous year's car. Didn't score as many points though, but it did have more results in the points. It scored five points throughout the year, uh, two fifth places, and a sixth place as well. A double, double points finish at the Canadian Grand Prix, where pretty much everyone crashed out. Remember that race? It was great. Thumbs up there. Um, yeah, it's a good race that one, I remember that. Good. <laughs> anyway, the, the, uh, it had five points throughout the year. Reliability wasn't that great, and also the team dropped Jan Magnussen after that Canadian Grand Prix and, and replaced him with uh, Jos Verstappen. Results didn't improve, and uh, the season was pretty much a whitewash, but uh, things improved for 99, and I will get onto a review, a review of that car. But anyway, if we move into the model in present, or the one we have in front of us, it is the... It is an, a, the first, or one of the first models that Mattel produced, uh, a, well, a Formula One model that Mattel produced. It is uh, it's very basic and not a lot of people will like the detail on this one. It is virtually no detail compared to the uh, a Mini Champs version, although Mini Champs didn't actually make this car. Uh, the tyres on the front of the car are a bit if iffy. The, uh, I think the grooves on the front tyres are a bit too far apart, but uh, or, or either that or the front tyres are a bit too wide. But apart from that, that's no big issue. The rear tyres as well might be a bit too wide, and the grooves might be a bit too far apart, but not a big issue. Nice bit of detail on the rear wing. It's got the extra plane on the front. It's a bit flexy there. And then also this car has opening fuel flaps. Oh, there we get that one open there. No, no, it's gone. There we go. There. Opening fuel flaps. Don't know why they included this feature. It is a bit pointless. But uh, overall, strength-wise, it is a very strong model as well. It's not going to break apart. It's not going to fall apart in your hands. It is. You can probably throw it across the room, and it will survive the impact. Uh, Material-wise, 
majority of it is metal the body wise rear wing plastic front wing plastic barge boards plastic wing mirrors quite quite sturdy actually I wouldn't put too much pressure on them because so I have seen a lot of these models on eBay and they ring the wing mirrors are always the first to go and of course the T cam on the top uh, paint wise of course white and the decal although it does feel a bit rough it's not going to peel off at the uh, very moment it's uh, quite well attached. I don't know if it's actually a decal or if it's paint it's very very strong I don't want to scratch it too much but it's not going to peel off and it's not faded either the paintwork is very pure white still although the light isn't really doing it justice got the decals on the nose very nicely painted there as well got a bit of tartan under the front wing or under the nose sorry on the front wing got HSBC all over it all around the nose uh, front wing side pod and on the rear wing of course, Hewlett Packard there, the tartan up the side and over the top, around the back the other side, big Ford logo there, and a little one there, and the Rubens Barrichello name on the side. The driver figure is usually a sore point for uh, most de uh, die cast collectors because the Mattel didn't really put much effort into their driver detail. The helmet is alright, it's can't say much about the shape, I don't know much about the helmets, uh, or the, the skid lids rather than the uh, on the real you know, what makes they are detail wise it's basically a big ball painted uh, in the basic colours of Barracuda's helmet the driver figure is quite detailed as well quite well shaped the uh, seat belts are just a decal and they're, they're quite a look, kind of look a bit out of place on this model really the de the, just a really bright coloured decal <laughs> doesn't look very good at all steering wheel if I just hold it right please zoom in a bit the steering wheel is Quite nicely detailed, although it probably is a bit thick. Um, probably redo the design there. I love the, the curve of the windscreen on the front as well. That's very nice as well. Um, forgot to say this is 118th scale as well. <laughs> so, of course, we have steering on the front as well. Very solid suspension. It doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. Uh, underneath, of course, on the base, we've got uh, 1998 Mattel, Stewart SF2 118. Mattel Hot Wheels. And look around the diffuser. And you know, it's not too bad. But like I said, it's one of it's probably the first or well, the first line of uh, F1 cars Mattel made and it's from the ninety eight season. I think they made three maybe. I think they made Ferrari, Stewart and Williams as well. I'm not sure they made any more of that year anyway. And the Williams is quite a rare one. I haven't seen any for sale in this country for a few years now. Uh, the Ferrari is quite common, although it's pretty much abandoned because Mini Chance made theirs, of course, as well. Of course, Mini Chance made the Williams as well, so there's not really a, a call for uh, the Mattel versions. But Mattel had the rights to the Stuart name for 98 and 99, and it's a very cheap model, but it looks good on display and it's good in any, any cabinet. And uh, I wholly recommend buying this model. It's I could play with this all day, I think. Broom, broom. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one of my favourites. I keep saying all of them are my favourites at the moment. I will get on to a few shitty ones later on. I know the 2000 McLaren, uh, the 2007 McLaren is a pile of shite. And I will get on to its shortcomings later on. A nice view of the rear there. Zoom. Zoom. Very good actually. And then we zoom out. We do the same on the front. I don't know what I'm doing, this. I'm just sort of uh, racking up the time, I don't know why. Zoom. Yeah, it really does show from this view how wide those front tyres are. I think they're a bit just a bit too wide, maybe a groove too wide. Maybe not quite that much, but yeah, they are quite wide. So uh, maybe this uh, I can butcher a, a mini champs or something and put them on, but we'll see. But uh, overall, not a bad model. And I will get on to the 97 and the 99 car as well later on. But uh, yeah, not a successful car. But uh, it looked good while it was being unsuccessful. Yeah, I, will rec I do recommend buying this model. It looked good in any, in any collection. But anyway, that's my rant, that's my opinion. And I shall return later on for another review. So uh, bye for now.